seeing mothers lying in their bed with their babies. And that actually broke my heart. From now onwards, we have nothing for the center. We need to train a lot of nurses. We need to train the doctors. I think if this uh, programs end, there will be a collapse. We need you to help us and to save our mothers and babies. Following the civil war that had been ravaging the largest Somali for several years, Somaliland declared its own independence in 1991. The new state set out on a journey to set itself apart from the warring factors by setting up a working system of governance which would be the driving force to the realization of lasting peace and economic prosperity for all her people. Part of this journey saw the growth of a town, Hargeisa. With a population of at least 700,000 people, the town soon became the centerpiece of commerce and trade. Although the country continued to experience significant growth, one sector that has continued to struggle is health. Hargeisa Group Hospital is the uh, national hospital uh, of Somaliland and also is the only referral hospital for the uh, region, maybe for the neighboring also uh, area, and also for Somaliland regions. Uh, the hospital was built in 1953 uh, under the British colony. The hospital has about 300 beds covering medical and surgical patients, sick children and mothers in labor. Over the last years, concerted efforts have also established more specialized units like hemodialysis, dentistry and physiotherapy. As the very latest development, we find the only specialist ward caring for sick and premature newborns in the whole country. We started the, uh, the program at the year of 2012, using the, new, using the maternity ward as a center. Then. HBBA helped us to put a spe spe specific place for the new needs. Due to this ward and the dedicated nurses and doctors that are working here, children that would otherwise have died are saved weekly. <laughs> ولكن <تصفيق> ولكن <تصفيق> Newborns have not always got the care they deserve in this place. Children born without breathing were put aside, assumed to be dead. Each morning in the parking place, I was threatening to come to work because I saw each day coming to work, seeing mothers lying in their beds with their babies, dead babies, waiting for someone to come pick up the baby and uh, to the funeral. Very small weight babies were not fed properly nor kept warm. 
Babies with infections were not treated with antibiotics. In Hargeisa Group Hospital, this is now history. After the, uh, the neonatal nurses and doctors were trained, now in 2014, when I come to work, I can tell mothers while their babies, if their babies are sick, we have good qualified staff who can take care of their newborns. In collaborative efforts by national and international actors, a small neonatal corner was equipped inside the maternity unit, later to be extended to a full neonatal ward with a bed capacity of 12 newborns with their mothers. We trained that year five nurses to be neonatal nurses at the center. We were successful, they graduated and finished their training and they started doing the right things that we needed them to do. Two batches of neonatal nurses trained in the ward during 2013 to 2014 by international specialists. Midwives were trained to resuscitate newborns not breathing. Drugs, newborn clothes and equipment was made available, some manufactured locally with simple means. Protocols, files and routines was established, guided by the World Health Organization standards. As the staff increased with their skills and confidence, even premature babies started to survive. Uh, I, I have uh, four previous previous miscarriage. Uh, it was uh, the most, uh, it was uh, two, uh, eight weeks, between eight weeks and 30, uh, and, and 30 uh, weeks. Uh, uh, my, my, this is my first baby who survived. We decided to see section. So that the, my baby is born it was a uh, uh, 935 gram that time. It was uh, it was uh, 18 September 2013. Uh, it's a uh, hard day, but it's the uh, best day of my life. No, my baby is uh, 11 months. Uh, it's a uh, heavy month. I'm very thankful the neonatal team and the neonatal clinic because they support me. As international support for this ward is coming to a close, the whole program is in risk of collapsing. The funds were before given by or provided by uh, uh, NNM and HPA. So from now onwards, we have nothing for the center. But health authorities and national newborn staff has a desire to see the work continue. Both the treatment of the sick newborns and the training of additional newborn nurses for other hospitals. To be able to continue, we need resources. We need qualified doctors to come and give more trainees and help us to come in with the supplies that we need and the equipment that we need. We need to train a lot of uh, uh, nurses, we need to train our doctors so we can have enough be skill, uh, uh, people who have the skills. Marka wa han chalan laha in la sook in la tayeyo shakalaha in la tayeyo kalabka in la la sameyo si lo gado amasi lo harumar der lo tapto in hal kanuna lo kumna na la sameyo tababara farabadano lo geyo MCH yada lo geyo other barefa diska hospitaliska mahay hade yan magala da kafuran and the district. A new organization called NORSAM is in the process of being registered with Somaliland authorities. This organization, uniting national and diaspora supporters, are working desperately to secure funds for the next year. 70,000 US dollars is approximately what is needed to keep treating five to 600 sick newborns and training more health workers and students. You can be part of this transforming work. Help us to help mothers and newborns in Somaliland. For $50, you can save a life. It is all in your hands. Really, we need your help very much. Your support will be very important to save lives. So I'm asking your help. Please help us. My name is Faduma and I'm a nurse and I want you to help us saving mothers and newborns in Somaliland.